my dear friends welcome back to b spies in this session we'll discuss about mastering cables so mastering cables in the sense uh, in this session we'll focus on you know the type of material used uh, for example thermoplastic thermostat and what is the meaning of both of uh, this thermoplastic and thermo you know thermostat and what are all the characteristics of thermoplastic thermostat in terms of you know high temperature you know coefficient of friction elongation tensile strength colorability heat deformation cold temperature compatibility all these we are going to talk about this this is more of a general aspect then in this uh, master series subsequently uh, we'll focus on uh, you know uh, like for example the type of cables you know flame retardant hmm, flame retardant low smoke all these uh, and of course the fire resistant cables uh, and of course the general information uh, uh, with respect to the standard you know IEC 60332 part 3 332 part 1 all these uh, we are going to talk of course the smoke emission IEC 61034 part 1 and part 2 test methodologies uh, all these we are going to cover Additionally, we are also going to focus on each type of cables and its selection criteria, all those are in this master series. Sir. So this is more of a general overview, which talk about, you know, thermo uh, set and uh, thermoplastic. Okay, let's move on with the details. See, one of the most beneficial ways of distinguishing the characteristics of wire or cable is to determine whether insulation or jacket material used is thermoset or thermoplastic. As simple as that, right, friends? So the two materials have different properties that influence their performance in a variety of applications. Okay, so we'll see what is thermoplastic, what is thermostat. Okay, thermoplastic material are defined as a high molecular weight polymer hmm, that are not cross-linked and are generally characterized by distinct melting point of the insulation material. These are the points front. Thermoplastic, high molecular weight, not cross-linked and, you know, distinct melting point. These are the things, a thermoplastic, okay? Thermoplastic material can be repeatedly softened. How? By heating and hardened. How? By cooling within a temperature band. That is a physical property of this material. Okay? You got it, friend? Thermoplastic material can be repeatedly softened by heating and hardened by cooling uh, within a specific temperature band. This property is a function of loose molecular bonding of material. Huh? We talk like, I mean, chemically. Huh? This property is a function of loose molecular bonding of a material. Sometimes thermoplastic material have a low melting point, hmm? which is a disadvantage in that melting insulation can lead to conductor failures. So just note this front. Thermoplastic have a low melting point, which is a disadvantage in that sense that melting insulation can lead to conductor failures. Some thermoplastic insulation are also problematic in the sense that they produce flaming fires after ignition. Okay, just remember this. Sir. Hmm? Economical to use impact. Huh? So we know we should know what to choose huh? when we uh, select a cable. So that is the intent of this. Okay, thermoplastic we know now, right? Now we'll go on with them. Few more details. Common thermoplastic insulation. In this you will get better. Huh? What is thermoplastic? Huh? Okay, polyethylene, that is thermoplastic. Polyvinyl chloride, PVC, remember friends? Yes, PVC sheet, right? Yes, it is a thermoplastic. Polyurethane, PPE, polypropylene, nylon, chlorinated polyethylene, CPE, tetrafluoroethylene, TFE. You know, all these are all under thermoplastic. Few more. Fluorinated polymer such as Dubon TFE copolymer with ethylene, like Tevzel, huh? we call it as a Tevzel. Then also Dubon's PFA, perfluoro alkoxy branched polymers, huh? this is PFA. Okay. Then allied chemicals and halar, huh? like ethylene copolymer with chloro trifluoroethylene. 
So these are the things that are related to thermoplastic. Of course, dynamite nobles diflow, which is poly, poly vinyl, uh, vinyl diene fluoride. Okay. So just uh, remember, of course, we know predominantly PVC, right? So that is also comes under thermoplastic. Okay. Now we'll talk about thermoset. The here the molecular consists of actually chains. Uh, chains that are tied together with covalent bonds in a network. Okay. The molecular here in the thermostat consists of a chains that are tied together with covalent bonds in a network. Cross linked. Just remember friends, there it is not cross linked. Thermoplastic, not cross linked. Thermostat is a cross linked. Thermostat insulation are generally characterized as softening but not melting to a, a during higher than normal temperature exposure. This is the point. Thermoplastic is melting, but here not melting. Okay, that's a good advantage. Okay, while they soften, they tend to maintain mechanical properties of the insulator. That is a point to note. Okay, as a result, thermoset insulation generally exhibit better low and high temperature properties, thermal aging resistant and overload resistant than thermoplastic insulation. Then now you know the importance, right? The betterment, right? Yes. Thermoset insulation generally exhibit better low and high temperature property, thermal aging resistant, overload resistant than the thermoplastic insulation. Thermoset material are vulcanized by heat or other method during a fabrication process. Okay. So the materials are infusible and insoluble. Molecular structure is tightly interlocked in contrast to the thermoplastic. Okay, friends. So I hope I've got some idea of thermoset. Now we'll see what are all the thermosetting insulation. Okay, ethylene poly, ethylene, propylene, rubber, EPR, cross-linked polyethylene. Yes. XLPE. You remember? XLPE. Yes, this is what. If you think about thermoplastic PVC, right? Here it is XLP. That is the difference. Okay. Dupont hypolon, uh, chlorosulfonated polyethylene, nitrile or rubber uh, butadiene nitrite, that is NBR, styrene butadiene rubber, that is SBR, silicon rubber, all these are uh, comes under thermostate. Okay. So just to remember, yes, see, the two points, friends, XLP thermostate, PVC thermoplastic. Just remember, that is good enough. Okay. Then uh, we also, you know, talk about a typical, you know, example. Uh, a simple analogy to visualize the thermoplastic uh, is like a chocolate bar, uh, just a chocolate bar. When a chocolate bar is melted, it has the ability to take a new shape um, as it cools, right, friends? Right. So this ability to be molded again and again is characteristics of the thermoplastics. Uh. Thermoplastics are composed of chain of molecules, uh, okay? Each thermoplastic molecule is composed of many smaller, smaller individual molecules. So that is the characteristic. When a heat is applied, added energy will allow bonds uh, between molecules to be separated, causing them to move around like a liquid. Uh, this is a property, right? Okay. So this is about thermoplastic. Now we'll see thermostat. If chocolate bar is uh, analogous to a you know, thermoplastic, then thermoset can be described as being a similar to a birthday cake. Yeah, how is it? See, once cake is baked, it takes its final shape, right? Baking it longer does not increase or decrease the size, right? It remains fixed, right, friends? Yes. Ultimately, if enough heat is applied, it will burn, but not melt like chocolate bar. So that is the point. This particular characteristic is why the thermostat material are always useful as a durable material that do not soften under high temperature. So that is the point. Thermostat material are those that are formed by basic polymer structure, such as, you know, polyethylene huh? and, you know, and or cured or vulcanized. So the curing process is what turns the plastic polymer into a thermostat material which are known as a natural or synthetic rubber material. Yeah. So the curing process can be done in many ways, but the results vary are virtually the same. Okay. So this is about the thermoset. Okay. So now few more long, long individual polymer chains of plastic becomes cross-linked by smaller molecules. Yeah. You know, the long individual polymer chain of plastic 
becomes cross-linked by smaller molecules. Okay. Because of the cross-linking required to make a thermoset, they are often referred to as a cross-linked material. So that is the point. Because of the cross-linking required to make a thermoset, they are referred to as cross-linked material. XL in front of abbreviation for plastics such as polyethylene, that is the XLPE, right? Means it has been cross-linked and not like our shirt, uh, extra large, right? Such thermostat materials are cross-linked polyethylene or XLPE, okay? So this is what, friends, I was telling, you know, the cross-link. You can see here the cross-link here. So this is a thermoplastic, don't have a cross-link. And thermostat, we have a cross-link, right? This is the one, friends, okay? I hope uh, you got a better idea on the thermoplastic uh, and thermostat, right? Just uh, as a recap, thermoplastic uh, PVC, thermoset XLP. That's it, friends. It's just an awareness video. That's it. Of course, we are going to have a more details subsequently. Yeah. So now, how do I choose? Uh, how do I choose a material for my application? Okay. So I have listed out a few items uh, in terms of characteristics uh, for both thermoplastic and thermostat and how it affects the product. Okay, we talk about the characteristics, high temperature, mechanical performance. Uh. So thermoplastics poor to good, thermostat is excellent. Uh. Increases survivability during emergencies or normal usage at high temperature. Obvious, right? Yes. Coefficient of friction, very low to moderate, moderate to very high. Thermoplastic is very low to moderate. Thermostat is moderate to very high. And it affects cooling tension via processing. Okay, good. Elongation, poor to good, uh, the thermoplastic. Thermostat, good to excellent. Uh, measure of stretch uh, before breaking, encounter during installation, processing, and fluxing. Okay, so that is the affects, uh, how it affects the product. Uh. Then tensile strength, uh, poor to excellent. Of course, this also same actually. Oh, wide, uh, sorry, this is a typo error. I think it's a wide, right, right, yes, I think, yeah, wide range, eh? wide, not wire, eh? wide range in both material type and impact durability. As far as tensile strength is concerned, not much of, uh, you know, difference, both are same. But when it comes to high temperature, thermoplastic, eh? uh, sorry, thermostat scores, coefficient of friction also thermostat scores, mm -hmm. elongation also thermostat scores. So that is the point, friends. So now you know what to, how to choose, uh, right? Yes. Few more to add on. Colorability. Good to excellent. Uh, but when it comes to this one, uh, uh, like uh, this is poor to excellent. Uh, it affects the identification, especially, especially in low light conditions. Uh, okay. So that is the challenge here with this thermostat. Okay. Uh, then we have this, um, uh, you know, um, yeah, of course, it's not a, you know, a challenge actually. Yeah, it, it ranges from poor to excellent. It starts from good to excellent, but here to poor to excellent. Basically, what I want to put it here is, it affects the identification, especially in low light condition and color, colorability. Heat deformation, poor to good, uh, good to excellent. Okay, this is again scores actually. And it becomes very soft as it nears its melting point. Yeah, that is the, you know, uh, how it affects the property. Then cold temperature compatibility, Poor to excellent, but again, this thermostat is good to excellent. It affects storage, handling, insulation, usage in cold environment, including air shipment. So that is the point, friends. So now you know which is better. Almost thermostat scores everywhere, right? Yes, that's a point. XLP is good enough, right? Okay. So thermoplastic material are high molecular weight uh, polymer that are cross-linked them, where, while the polymer chain of thermostat uh, are I think I, one moment. Huh? Ah, so there is a typo error, friends. Again, sorry for that. Thermoplastic material or high molecular weight huh, that are not cross-linked. Huh? Sorry, huh? not, not cross-linked. While the polymer chain of thermostat material are cross-linked with the huh? uh, covalent bonded network. So that is the summary. Okay. When the thermostat huh, resins are heated during manufacture, huh? Okay, uh, from ambient temperature to, two, to 232 degree, they undergo an irreversible chemical reaction referred to as a curing or polymerization to make the final cross-linked thermoplastic product. That is the, you know, the properties. Okay, then while thermoplastic material can be reshaped by heating and cooling within the proper temperature range of material, 
thermostat cannot be reshaped once they have been cross-linked. Okay. So that's the, you know, you know, just a summary, friends. Okay. So hope uh, you had a very good insight on this thermoplastic and thermoset. Okay. Uh, next, we'll focus on, uh, you know, the flame retardant, uh, flame retardant smoke, uh, and also, you know, a bit of the standards, all this. Then finally, we go into the, you know, uh, cable selection type, all this. Uh. Thank you, friends. Uh. Take care. Bye-bye.